In our story of human evolution, one species stands out for their remarkable innovations and daring journey across continents. Today, we'll explore the rise and spread of Homo erectus, a species that revolutionized survival through their advanced tools and laid the foundation for humanity's global journey. Around 1.9 million years ago, Homo erectus emerged in Africa, marking a new chapter in the evolutionary story. This hominin was a significant departure from its predecessors, not only in physical appearance but also in behavior. With a larger brain, greater physical endurance, and new ways of thinking, Homo erectus became the first hominin to leave Africa and explore the wider world. Homo erectus had a number of anatomical and cognitive advances over earlier hominins like Homo habilis. Their brain size averaged around 960 cubic centimeters, nearly two-thirds the size of modern human brains. This larger brain meant more complex thinking, problem-solving, and social organization, skills essential for survival as they adapted to various environments beyond Africa. One of the most complete fossil skeletons of Homo erectus was discovered in Kenya, Turkana boy. This skeleton gives us incredible insight into their anatomy. Turkana boy stood at about 5 feet 3 inches tall and, judging by his bones, had a more modern body shape than previous hominins. With long legs and a shorter torso, he was well adapted for walking and possibly even running over long distances, something critical for survival on the open savanna. But their physical characteristics weren't the only thing that set Homo erectus apart. Their ability to innovate would define their legacy in human evolution. One of the most significant innovations of Homo erectus was their mastery of toolmaking. Earlier hominins, like Homo habilis, had used basic stone flakes to scavenge and process food. But Homo erectus took toolmaking to the next level with the development of the Acheulean tool industry. Their hallmark tool, the hand axe, was far more versatile and efficient than the crude stone flakes of their predecessors. Acheulean hand axes were large, symmetrical, and teardrop-shaped with carefully chipped edges that served multiple purposes. These tools could be used for cutting meat, digging for tubers, stripping bark, and even processing animal hides. The creation of these tools required planning and skill, showing that Homo erectus had the cognitive ability to think ahead and visualize the final product before they even began shaping the stone. Making these hand axes was no easy task. Homo erectus used a technique called bifacial flaking, where both sides of a stone were chipped away to create a sharp edge. This required patience and an understanding of how different strikes would alter the shape of the tool. The symmetry and refinement of these tools suggest that Homo erectus not only valued function but also aesthetics, perhaps an early hint of creativity in human evolution. These tools weren't just a technological leap, they were also a social innovation. The production and use of Acheulean tools likely involved teaching and learning. Younger members of the group would have observed and practiced under the guidance of skilled toolmakers, passing down knowledge through generations. This transmission of culture is one of the hallmarks of what it means to be human. But Homo erectus didn't stop at tools. They became the first known hominins to leave Africa and venture into new territories. This migration was unprecedented in the history of life on Earth. Fossils of Homo erectus have been found across Europe and Asia, as far away as Damanasai in Georgia and Java, Indonesia. How did they manage this extraordinary feat? As they expanded into new environments, Homo erectus demonstrated an incredible ability to adapt. They encountered different climates, from the temperate forests of Europe to the tropical jungles of Southeast Asia, and managed to thrive in all of them. Their versatility was likely aided by their advanced tools, social cooperation, and possibly even the control of fire. Some of the earliest evidence of Homo erectus outside Africa comes from the site of Damanasai in Georgia, where fossils date back to around 1.8 million years ago. These fossils represent one of the first groups of Homo erectus to leave Africa, and their presence in such distant lands shows just how quickly they were able to spread. In Java, Indonesia, the discovery of Java Man in the late 19th century provided further proof of Homo erectus's expansive reach. These fossils, dating back over a million years, 
indicate that Homo erectus had made their way to Southeast Asia long before modern humans even appeared on the scene. One of the most intriguing questions surrounding Homo erectus is whether they were the first to master fire. Fire would have been a game-changer for survival, allowing them to cook food, stay warm in colder climates, and protect themselves from predators. While there is still debate about when exactly hominins began using fire, some evidence suggests that Homo erectus may have had control of it as early as one million years ago. Cooking food, in particular, would have been a huge advantage. It not only made food easier to digest but also unlocked more nutrients, which may have contributed to the growth of their larger brains. Fire also allowed them to explore and survive in colder climates, expanding their range even further. Homo erectus was also likely among the first hominins to engage in active hunting, rather than relying solely on scavenging. With their hand axes and cooperative social structure, they may have hunted large game in groups. By doing so, they gained access to high-calorie foods like meat and bone marrow, which were crucial for sustaining their larger brains and bodies. This shift in diet was a key factor in their survival and success, allowing them to outcompete other species and spread across continents. Homo erectus's ability to exploit new resources, adapt to new environments, and innovate with tools laid the groundwork for the emergence of future human species. As Homo erectus evolved, they continued to pave the way for future hominin species. Most scientists agree that Homo erectus was a direct descendant of Homo habilis, and over time, new species evolved from the Homo erectus lineage, including Homo heidelbergensis and ultimately, Homo sapiens, modern humans. But despite their success, Homo erectus eventually disappeared. In Africa, they became extinct around 500,000 years ago likely replaced by more advanced hominins. However, in parts of Asia, Homo erectus survived much longer. Fossils found in Java suggest that they may have lived there until as recently as 27,000 to 53,000 years ago, meaning they might have coexisted with early modern humans for a time. Although Homo erectus looked different from us, with a thicker skull and more pronounced brow ridges, their contributions to human evolution are undeniable. They were innovators, explorers, and survivors, traits that we still see in modern humans today. The story of Homo erectus is one of adaptability, intelligence, and the drive to explore new frontiers. Their journey from Africa to the far reaches of Asia and Europe marks the beginning of humanity's global journey, a story that continues with us today. As we continue to study and uncover new fossils and artifacts, the story of Homo erectus becomes clearer. Their legacy, passed down through generations of hominins, is still with us today. From their mastery of tools to their migration across continents, Homo erectus set the stage for the rise of humanity. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the past. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments. And as always, You'll find all of our sources and references in the description below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the past.